All right, here's my partner in crime, the programmer here, the artist. These are the boards for Rad Ricky, and we're gonna go over them. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I set this up. So what we're looking over here is, in Disney Studios, they used to have these big, huge boards. And so I made mine, but mine are a little different, right? Theirs are horizontal, mine's vertical. And what I do is, I put up all the art that I want for Rad Ricky here, anything that I'm working on. And I, this is more like an inspirational board, but it gives me an idea of where I'm going so I can have a macro view of the direction, um, what inspires me, what I want to do, crazy ideas, um, ideas that will not make it, and ideas that maybe will make it. And um, I'm going to show you guys around these things and walk you through it. Cool. Apologize for the lighting. So this is where I work. That's the uh, Wacom tablet that I use. It's like an old Cintiq still working um, that's where I draw I do my hand drawing animation right on this I use paper still these are our storyboard sequences I'll run it by you guys later but and uh, so this is the these are some character designs for a principal character that I'm making that's the second player character right there and these are some more ideas Our enemy designs. All right, let's go over here. So Rad Rick is pretty much a he's gonna be he's gonna be a kid, and it's gonna be like in a tagger like style because that's the kind of art that I grew up in the '90s. And these are Mickey Mouse gloves. So these are just exploring character designs. And then here he's. He's um, doing like an R shape with his hands, RR for Rad Ricky. That, that thing he's holding right there, we used to use that so we can hack into the arcades in the liquor store because that's where the arcades were at a liquor store. And it would fool the machine thinking it was a quarter. So that thing, that's what we used. And this is so it can, I can remind myself that in the end of the day, it's about shapes, um, three-dimensional shapes. All I'm doing is fancy drawing on top of that. So I, that's, I need this to keep reminding me that that's the foundation of my drawing. These are just hand studies. That's super important to remind me like what pants were like then. I used to wear baggy pants. I made sure they were creased up real, real cool. And that the pants went over the shoe a, a particular way. Kind of like the full tier. And then you had a belt right there with an R on it or whatever your initial was. These are some marker drawings that I did using Prismacolors. And what exactly are they? I have no clue. I'm just drawing stuff, having fun. So these are possible enemies. This is when Rad Ricky, um, it's game over. And you have to like, it, that's the countdown to 10, the timer. And if you and if it goes down to zero, that character right there is gonna poke his belly button, and then he goes wild. Uh, that's a particular thing I hate. I hate it when my wife pokes my belly button. So I thought I introduced that into the game. That's my son. I thought I'd make a level around my son with the stuff that he likes. And that's my daughter. That's my cat. So I thought I'm making my cat like a boss in the game. And that's my wife with their finger. She likes to taunt me um, at home that she's going to poke my butt, my belly button. So it doesn't make me feel good. So I thought I introduced that into the game too. All right. So now we're getting to like enemies and bosses and just visual development of possible things. So... Yeah, I have no clue. I'm just drawing for the sake of drawing and I'm using um, Prismacolor markers and Crayola markers to do concepts with. And this is all like breakdancing stuff and you see that right there on his chest? That's a, that's a, boom, that's a boom box and that's like a gas mask. In the 90s it was huge, even ravers had gas masks for no particular reason just because it looked cool. 
And here's like Adidas outfits. Here's more here. So this is like turntables and these robots are, there, are just there for decoration, I think, or they're gonna be possible bosses, I'm not sure. Here's like the boombox master guy. Just having fun concepting and exploring ideas. And this is the kind of range that I'm talking about. Like, I can't do this for the Super Mario Super Show, but this is exciting stuff for me. That's him throwing, like, a record disc. We used to listen to music and record discs. And here are the turntables. Here's where I'm getting, like, burnt out from ideas. I have, like, no motivation to draw, but I'm drawing anyway. So that's a level made of record disc. That's the turntable. Yeah. All right. And this this here is really important. Um, this is... This is just the, the vibe when I was going to junior high and high school, you know, the way kids dressed. It's just to remind me what the style and inspiration of this is. It's, uh, like I said, it's a blast from the past. I'm making a game based off of it. It's the stuff I understand. What this is, I have no clue. Just thought it would be cool. record dude his chests are like speakers all right that's uh that's a lighter that's cigar dude i don't know what that is i think it's just a damsel in distress these are cigarettes that's a lighter i mean a match here's a monkey yeah i'm just Again, just having fun, just doing stuff, exploring ideas. I thought this would be another possible character, but didn't make it. All right, cool. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Share the boards, share uh, my studio, what it looks like, my setup. All right, cool. So hey. we're going to introduce you to the um, intro to Rad Ricky. So my son's going to help me out. All right, go for it. So this is the pitch. It starts out at a school. Again, I'm gonna come up with better concepts than this, but the idea is that the school looks, looks like a prison. I'm gonna change this. And this is gonna be like the principal's office. These are like huge bells with American flags on top. Go ahead. All right, then it's gonna start with this little kid right here. He hops over the wall and as he hops over the wall and falls down and lands, the principal comes out, starts chasing him. And here's just a big chase scene right over here. There'll be like running cycles. And there's a big sign that says, dare to stay out of drugs. That was huge when I was going to school. It's this thing called dare that the police did, which I found very effective. And that's barbed wire right over here. All right, then he runs to the corner here and he crosses the street or a liquor store and there's going to be this really neat sign that says arcade in it liquor beer whatnot even ice this sign is i i that signs like this elaborate ones roll over my neighborhood and newspaper stands here too go ahead all right here that's the principal running that's ricky running and then what i'm going to do is have them run in place while the background like um animates so it's not them running you know, to the camera, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, he's not going to go, like, outside that shot. He's going to stay in place while the animation, the background animation is moving. Cool. So the liquor store is closed here. So he goes right through the alley. And it's a shot of him, like, the street right here going through the alley. So now he's in the back of the, the liquor store, so he, he pushes this um, trash bin off to the side and he goes inside the, um, the abandoned liquor store. So in there, the, the principal thought he was in it the whole time. And he comes out to the door and he's like, hey, come back out. 
And in here, he's like taunting him and he's telling him that he's going to give him a, an F on his homework assignment. Dude, wait. First of all, look at the principal. The dude's hilarious. What is up with the, the, the homie's finger? All right, go ahead. And in here, he, he, he puts on his gloves. Well, he's actually, they're already on, but he's tightening them up so he can play this really cool game that he plays after school or when he decides to ditch school. And in this case, he's ditching school. And he's using that thing that we used to use so we can like trick the machine that it's a quarter. And when he puts it in, there's like the surge of energy that like, yeah, that happens to the machine. And that's the principal right there. That's him ready to play. And there's a lot of cool things here. There's the old telephones with the cords, boombox to listen to music with. Um, American flag. All right, go ahead. Then the arcade sucks him in while the principal's tripping out. Next shot. Then he goes inside video game world. And there's a big poof. And he, he's, he's that Rad Ricky character that's in the game right now. Then he's like, what? And then it fades into this logo. And that's the intro to the video game.